But hello, lovely humans. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is the girls' birthday weekend. So we are loading everybody up into the car. <laughs> Didn't start it in there though. Um, and heading on out to grab them some donuts. Does this work with this outfit? Western with checkers? I don't really feel like it does. But alas, here we are. So we asked the girls what they wanted to do for their birthday. Technically it's tomorrow, but tomorrow we have church. Um, and they said they wanted their birthday breakfast to be donuts. But it's now almost 10.15 and we gotta get, get this show on the road. <laughs> but I wanna say hi, not in the car. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm super excited, today is finally cold. I have been waiting to wear this sweater since I got it from Hannah. You guys saw my haul um, after working with the personal stylist. I'm obsessed with this sweater. It just hits right at the waist. It's not super oversized lengthwise with the tortoiseshell buttons. It's just cozy. And of course we're wearing blue blockers um, because something is going on with this eye. I think there's something stuck in it. But as I was doing the make ahead meals, I don't know if you guys are going to see this before or afterwards. Um, my eye kept watering so aggressively that I was like, oh my gosh. So now it's all swollen. And I'm wearing blue blockers to detract from that. Any noodles? Hi. It's cold. Welcome. My windows are open. I'm taking coffee in an open cup. No. Okay. We've returned with some delicious no dunce. No, no nuts? <laughs> <laughs> They're called donuts. Did you say no nuts? Nuts? Yes. Did say no nuts. We got kolaches, we got some, what was it? Apple fritters, long john. What? Filled with strawberry. What did you get, Daniel? Croissant sandwich. You? I got some, some sort of spinach and cheese something. And then Silas got a sprinkle donut with a kolache. Now, if he. What? What? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> If you don't mind, I think we're all gonna go eat our breakfast. Bye. All right, y'all, where are you going today? Medium Papa. To Medium Papa. Papa. My parents decided that they wanted to steal the kids. Also, I showered and did my hair and everything um, for tonight because the girl's birthday is officially tomorrow. And um, we are in the middle of something called a no spend month. So we're trying to be very careful about our spending outside the house, but someone has racked up enough points that we're going to Chick-fil-A for lunch. Yes! Chick-fil-A! Woo! Oh yeah, I didn't even know that we are going to Chick-fil-A. You didn't even know? Oh, and what do you need to tell the vlog? What happened today? I won my soccer practice. Game. Game, sorry. That's okay, you won your soccer game, bro. And he scored a goal. <gasps> what? Wait, you didn't tell him he scored a what? goal? What? He's just no emotions whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And also, got loose shoes. And also got all, all the things are happening with Silas Steve Wolfer right now. Um, so we are going to go grab some Chick-fil-A, drop them off at my parents' house. We might run a couple of errands, but for now, let's get ready to feast. You look... You look like you're wearing something I would have worn in middle school. Really? Genuinely, it, the choker necklace, except for I would have worn black, not pink. Because you said you would have worn a black one? The necklace, I would have worn a black one. Yes. All right, five minutes to the kids. So now we can tell you what we're actually up to today. Because we like being sneaky. Um, the girls don't need any more gifts. Their birthday's tomorrow. We want to do something for them, but they don't need any more clothes. Lord knows they have plenty. Uh, they have a couple books that they want, but my mom got those. Really, generally speaking, they don't have a lot that they need, but there's one thing that they've been wanting to have for a really long time in the room, and that is a desk. Isabella's wanted a place where she can sit and draw and do her art stuff, um, and we've been considering, actually, we've been really wanting to get the family computer out of the office because <laughs> when the kids use the office, it becomes an absolute disaster zone. All the chairs get moved around. They're just, they're all over the place. So, what we are planning on doing is building them out a desk and some floating shelves, and that will be their birthday gift. We're also going to be moving the family computer into their room, so when they need to work on homework or when they want to game a little, they'll have access to that right there in their room. Um, I'm not super concerned about them having a computer in their room. What would concern me? Just having free access to the internet on their own. Oh, what we got? I know, I know what I'm doing when it comes to that stuff. <laughs> We'll make sure they're well protected. Uh, and I'm a night owl, so they will never be able to sneak anything past me at night, at least. But they're 
14th and we feel like they have earned this and they are very smart very respectful when it comes to their screen time uh, so we thought why not this will feel like a big deal to them this way we're not spending a ton of money on their gift and we're giving them something that they've specifically asked for and it's not more junk I feel like it's a win-win for everyone involved and with their boxes we can send them out for their homework in their room there you go in fact, I think they're gonna want to do their homework in their room. We were gonna buy a desk off of Facebook Marketplace, but the person never responded. <laughs> so well, they responded, <laughs> and then I immediately responded, and then it just stopped. And I'm like, I, I know there's like a meme of people on Facebook Marketplace where like people buying stuff are like, hey, is this still available? And then never responding. It goes both ways. Yeah. Because I'll be like, I'll just send them a message and go, hey. I'm interested, I have cash, say when and where, I will come pick it up. And they'll either just not respond at all, yeah, or they'll go, okay, and then I'll go, do you have an address? <laughs> Should I come right now? And it's just like, yeah, I do. And, and these are like a day or two days in between each response. I'm like, oh my goodness. So we were specifically trying to get the measurements off of this. In fact, I didn't realize he had already DM'd this person. So I sent them a message as well to be like, hey, what are the measurements of this? Because we would just, it would be easier to just buy it instead of having to make it. Um, you had an appointment time with him to go look at it. And you said, hey, can I get the measurements before I go? You were supposed to look at it at nine o'clock this morning. That was six hours ago. And we still have not received dimensions or heard anything back from them. So we're like, all right, well, we're just gonna build it from scratch. <laughs> so, so we gotta figure out, uh, of course, my mind's going to all of the decorating and wanting to make it look cute. And we're also gonna make a stop at Hobby Lobby to get some of their cast iron brackets, because those are a little bit more attractive than like the regular L brackets that you, snag, you can snag at like a hardware store, like Home Depot. And this is excluded from our no spending month. Yes, we have already decided that we wanted to do something for the girls. Oh gosh, go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that light's the worst. Oh, I'm just glad the baby stopped screaming. She's, she, she found her thumb, I can hear it. I can hear it. I can feel it in my soul. Yeah, she screamed the whole time during the Chick-fil-A drive through That was fun. So we're finally pulling up. He's gonna run inside and start shopping. I am going to feed her. <laughs> because clearly she's rabbit it. And then we'll meet up inside. What was I saying? Oh yeah, their gift doesn't count as a part of the no spend month. That's what you were saying. Yeah. And then I was saying more to it. Okay, we've said enough. Goodbye. Hi, Lily. Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. What are you doing? You see, Dada. We officially decided on what kind of what is this? Common board? Yeah. Just not. They're like cheap pine. But just not like framing lumber. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've upgraded for we, We've upgraded. So we're gonna do, these are 10, one by 10s. Um, so we're gonna do two of these deep for the desk and then one, two shelves up above it. I think this will look good. Looks like it looks like a face. So he's just looking for ones that aren't completely beat up. Of course, in an ideal world, I would get the ones without a bunch of knots in it. However, if we were to do something like that, it would be these over here, and they're literally $47 a piece um, for what we would need. Gorgeous wood, like really, really pretty. But these are 22 a piece. We decided we're gonna hack the system, and we're gonna use these. Um, we were looking for a two by, but they don't have any of those. So, huh? They oh, they have one, one on the floor. So Elias is gonna rip these down the center and we'll use that as a face on the shelves and on the desk to give it like a beefier appearance without having to actually buy beefier wood, which will be nice. All right, carry on. <laughs> I told Elias that we were definitely gonna stop and get some greenery for the girls' room. Um, so, Cause I wanna put something on the shelves. This might be too, kind of reminds me of a lemon button fern, but it might be too upright. <laughs> yeah. <Sure. laughs> Shush. Shush. It's like uncut grass. Okay. This is like maiden hair fern. I actually have several of these. This is one of my favorite greens to get from here. It just looks so good, but usually requires two of them. Um, and then this is my other favorite. Can you yawn somewhere else? <laughs> I love this one. 
That's a really good one. Got a couple of those around the house. And then they have one that's, oh, that one right there. Looks like an asparagus fern. Those are delicious. So I think maybe I'll do two of the maidenhair ferns. I'll skip this one for now. Yeah, you can keep moving. Oh yeah, not because you're bored at all by this. I'm telling you, Hobby Lobby has some of the best greenery. Those two together, see it's a nice little maidenhair. And then this is the asparagus fern that I have in like three places in the house already. It's fine. What I like about this one is it cascades really nicely. So I could put that in a single pot. Actually, probably only need one of these. Yeah, because this is $19. They're 40% off today, so we'll just do one. That looks good. You're so proud of yourself. I thought we were decorating. No, absolutely not. No. We're not decorating? <laughs> not like that, we're not. <laughs> the worst part is they would totally love that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm thinking about our daughters and not about myself. I'm sure you're so magnanimous like that. Okay, to be honest, I kind of just like those brown ones. I, these are yep. exactly what I saw. Yep. Perfect. Just enough texture to be cool, but not so much that they're squirrely. Yeah. And I think those are pretty inexpensive too. Ten bucks. Really? I thought they were less. Nine ninety nine. Ew. So you're right. They are less than ten. Oh, don't be a snod. <laughs> Guys, the crickets are back. We're in a completely different parking lot this time. Not even close, right? We're not that close. Look at. <gasps> oh. Wait, wait until we get this corner though. <laughs> Don't know why this happens, but like large swaths of crickets will just come die. Um, it happened over next to Freebird. Like we had to like step over crickets to get inside, and then apparently now it's outside Hobby Lobby. I'm bugs don't bother me. I'm fine with bugs. But in mass, if we're talking biblical plague levels, I'm not okay with it. That's nasty. <laughs> it's so, so gross. At least the baby fell asleep. She's been asleep since we left, or since we probably on our drive here to home, or Hobby Lobby. So I'm hoping she stays that way for our drive home. It's already five o'clock. We're both dragging, and we have to get this project done. <laughs> Tonight. We. Hey, I've got designing to do. You're really handsome, have I told you that recently? We don't normally film the girls' room, mostly because it usually looks something like this. <laughs> Which is fine. They are teenagers, it is understandable. Um, they also, we also don't have very strict bed making regimen um, here in the Wolfer household, but here is the game plan. So Elias is gonna be working on the desk and I'm gonna show you where that's gonna go in just a minute. And I, ideally, I'm gonna try to go through and clean up the room as much as possible because Pepper, um, Pepper is the girl's dog. She's the family dog, but she's the girl's dog. Um, I shouldn't say she's a family dog. We kept her specifically for the girls. Her crate is in here. She sleeps with the girls every night, but her crate will definitely not be cute with everything that we're attempting to do over here. So let me turn on the camera and I'm gonna kind of show you our plan of attack. This is the wall where the desk will be going and they'll be doing two shelves above it. The desk is also gonna do a little return right there and I, we might do a return on the shelves not sure I think it would look good to have a return on the shelves actually but that is Pepper's crate and it's not gonna work with our whole shelf building process uh, floating desk situation so in order to hi Amelia Jane hi baby in order to move this somewhere where she could still stay in their room she'll need to go in their closet in order for that to happen, this needs to be addressed. Oh, there's Buster. So Elias was kind of bemoaning, like, making the desk. I mean, he's so happy to do it, but he's like, yeah, I got a lot of work ahead of me. And I, then I went, yeah, but I have to clean their room. And he went, oh. <laughs> it's gonna feel like a nice surprise to come home to. It's gonna be like a, a little nod to a birthday gift. My mom always treated our home like our safe haven, like the place that we could return to that we would always feel comfortable. So sometimes she'd do stuff like pick up our room for us while we were gone at school or while we were away. 
And that feeling of coming back to a clean room, I've never forgotten that. So to have the girls come back in with a desk and shelves done so they feel older because they've got a desk and a computer in the room, as well as having their room cleaned up, I think is going to mean quite a bit to them. Unfortunately, it's already 5.40 in the evening. I'm wondering, hi, how far we're gonna be able to make it. Yeah. <laughs> She's just major cheesing, aren't ya? Yeah, should I flip the camera on you while I'm talking? <gasps> yeah. Are you cheesing? Yeah. I wonder how far we're gonna be able to make it and now you just stop looking. Oh, yeah, you. Hi. Tonight, what do you think? Or are we gonna have to play hooky from church tomorrow? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, child, you are so cute. You're so cute. You are, you happy baby. Are you gonna eat sister sweatshirt? That's all right, you could do that. Yeah, I approve, it's fine. So, in order for that to fit in the closet, this is gonna need to be tackled. Which, that is a drawer from that, that like, it's falling apart. They also have all of their toys in here that they honestly no longer play with, but they're having a hard time admitting that they no longer play with them. So I'm wondering if I, oh, do I take the plunge and take this out? I don't know y'all, I don't wanna make that move for them. That feels like a big emotional move, but this needs to be taken care of to see if we can get the crate over here. So as you can see, I got my work cut out for me. It's mostly just clothes that need to be folded and put away. But I wonder how far the little Miss Meese is gonna let me get, huh? <laughs> Bye, Bon. Oh, but can you see it with me? The desk with the shelves? The only thing we're gonna have to be careful of, it's I gotta call a nice extension to this, is we planned on having the desk come out six feet from that corner, but that's gonna be like, right there where Isabella climbs up the ladder to go to bed. So we need to figure out how to handle that. Do we make it only five feet to give her a little bit more room and then we can get a little bit deeper of a return over here? Cause that's over two feet deep over here. Mm, I don't know. And I'm kind of procrastinating on getting started by talking to you. Cause I don't want to clean this, but I'm going to. Cause they will appreciate it so much. Bonnie's flipping out, man. We left the back door open. So she has free access to like all of her favorite places except for animals. The backyard, inside the house. So she keeps pacing and coming in and out of this room and then like going in the backyard and I'll see you at the back window and then coming back in. <laughs> she can't handle it. All right, Moose. You ready for some time lapse? All right, I haven't time lapse yet. As you've clearly seen, <laughs> Amelia is kind of losing it. I fed her like an hour ago hoping she'd go to sleep. She's not. So. Um, instead of folding their laundry, I just neatly piled it as best as I could. And now I'm working on this area and Elias has gotten started on the desk. Um, and it was cold enough to wear my sweater, but we're over it. We're sweating now. So he's got these two. He found the studs, um, and got those in. Unfortunately, the walls in this house, every single wall is wonky. So this one actually like bubbles out this direction right there. So he had to kind of shim it up with some bolts and he really wanted to do furring strips all the way around, but I told him that I'm like, it's fine. It's a kid's desk. It's not a big deal. So my next goal is to get some of this out. I'd also like to clear this off. So we have a little bit more working space and feels better in here. Uh, actually, I should probably see if I can get that in here now. So I got most of this cleared out over here. And I also got, where'd I put it? Oh, one of these that we haven't used yet. So I was thinking I could, it's one of those accordion hook things. I could put it right here for the girls' hats or for their purses or we put it on that side. So at least um, all the hats that they had in this plastic drawer unit don't have to go there anymore. So now let's focus on cleaning the rest of this up. Um, and I think I'm gonna try to get these toys out because they don't play with them. So if I can get their books up top, that could be kind of fun. But I don't think we need to keep the barn and stuff like that up there that they just don't, they don't really play with anymore. I just remember feeling like sick to my stomach thinking about giving away toys when I was probably a little younger than, than them actually. Um, and I didn't want to because Toy Story wrecked me, wrecked me. And I was like, they have emotions and feelings and lives and I'm just abandoning them. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I do feel like they'll probably have a sense of relief if I can get some of these toys out and we can at least store them in the garage or maybe in our storage trailer. 
just out of the room so they they have freedom to breathe because they just don't I mean I think we have nine baskets of toys they just don't even touch so if I can give them that space we'll see how that feels and then they'll know that they're there if they want to play with them but if I'm going to get the crate in here do I get this out now it's like Tetris because that I might put all the craft stuff in and it can go on this wall oh okay decisions decisions <laughs> That is going to be the perfect little desk for them. Good. That's awesome. Good. So now you're just trying to <laughs> shut, shut it. Now you're just trying to figure out the angle of that cut over there, right? Yeah. How did this happen? That's how <laughs> off the wall is. That's a 45. <laughs> God bless this house. Moment of truth. Boom. Close enough. That's good. That looks really good. Progress shot. Pepper's crate is in here. This is fully out. I have all of their toys in that bin right there. It's kind of just strewn in the hallway, so I'll need to clean that up, otherwise that'll be a dead giveaway. They have kept all of these pants hangers. I don't know why I haven't intervened before. Uh, we don't use these, so those will be going um, in recycle. So now I'm gonna get all of these books up to the tippy top, and we have officially graduated to pajama pants. Because y'all, I cannot figure out what's with my gut, but I am so bloated. I'm so bloated. I look like I'm carrying around more pounds than I am. Uh, and pants are very uncomfortable at the moment. So we're just, you know, it might be the Chick-fil-A today. I don't know. No clue, but those pants were uncomfortable. And I was feeling quite thick. <laughs> so I needed to change. And we got the hair up, so it's a little less stressful that way. It's just a lot to go through, and I want to do it with intention. Um, but they got a lot of stuff. So at least we're in cozies. Um, never underestimate how hungry a almost five-month-old baby can be. <laughs> now on to the books, putting them up there, and then hopefully I can reuse the crates somewhere else because right now I feel like that shelf will be perfect for them and we won't need to use them there, there anymore. severely underestimated <laughs> how long such a simple project was gonna take. Elias has gone off to bed. It's almost 11 p.m. So we're gonna have to pick this up tomorrow. Um, but the good news is I have got this out. That still needs some tweaking. Um, that's like artwork. That should go on their walls, artwork. Um, not like their artwork. Sketchbooks, paints and stuff that might need a home, although that would look cute on the shelves. I'd totally be down to put that on a shelf if it's, um, the shelf is deep enough. We'll see. Hi, Clyde. <laughs> and then Pepper's Crate fit in here. This is Olivia's crocheting. She's been loving that. That's actually all of their clean laundry. It's in a basket, but they, it was just so stuffed in here that a lot of clean clothes had just fallen off. I'd like to get this organized for them too because I think that will feel really nice. I don't think they have enough hangers for the clothes that they need to have hanging though, so I'll have to get a little creative. Desk is gonna go in tomorrow along with the shelves, but we do think that we will be skipping church <laughs> because there's a lot of work left to do. And I think we're gonna move that mirror over here so the girls can still have it to check out their outfits and stuff, but it won't interfere with where the um, 
shelves are at. So tomorrow my plan is just general tidying. I did most of my hard work today. Um, and then I probably will need at least 30, 45 minutes, probably closer to an hour to decorate the shelves. Cause I like to tweak and I like to tinker. So I'll be doing that. Yeah, I mean, all in all, based on the before and what it currently is, I am quite satisfied. That stuff out there, no clue. No clue. <laughs> so I will probably, I mean, I'm definitely going to set high glide. Good, good boy. I'm gonna leave this somewhere accessible. Sir. <laughs> Paw down, no thank you. Um, in case they want to pull anything out, I'll probably, maybe we'll put it in the trailer. I'm not sure, but I want them to know that they have access to this. I don't want them to think that I'm taking their toys away therefore taking their childhood away because they turned 14. I am also putting together an accessories box um, that will probably go somewhere in their closet and that's Goodwill Donate that they've already selected for themselves. I'm just excited. I just can't wait to see what this will feel like for them. I really hope they love it. I hope it feels like still, you know, their space, but just like a little, a little more adult, you know, a little, a little grown up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the vlog here. Um, and we'll pick up tomorrow where you can see the end of the transformation. Um, and then obviously the reveal. <laughs> okay, see you next clip. Good morning, afternoon, day two, and um, <laughs> we haven't made it very far. However, I will say I have done some pretty decent work in here. Wait, you saw most of that last night. Oh, that's what I did mostly, um, was cleared out the hallway. So the girls will, shouldn't suspect what's going on. My, we did end up skipping church. My dad has them. I'm gonna be quiet because the baby's sleeping. Um, my dad has them and they're playing on the church playground. And I'm like, keep going, keep, you just, you just keep them as long as you feel like keeping them. And I'm running out the door to try to get um, bar stools that we're gonna cut down that will fit under their desk. I think um, it's definitely, they're definitely not gonna be stained by the time the girls get here gonna be more like we're just gonna put them up and put the computer there and do a little bit of decorating so they get the concept but unfortunately um we're not gonna have that ready in time oh it's not on currently he is very dedicated to his craft and we appreciate that he's even doing like wood filler um so he i think he's wrapping up this yep so this is the lip that we were talking about wow that looks slick so once he has the wood filler on both the shelves, then he's gonna sand them and then he can stain them. But this is gonna be a way bigger project. Um, I think then either one of us were thinking. So unfortunately it's not gonna be ready in time before the girls get home, but we want just enough for that like reveal moment. But now I have to go, otherwise I'm gonna be late. And we need these tools. We can't, we, we can't afford to not have these tools because we need something for them to sit on. Oh yeah, I gotta go. Goods are secured. Elias is gonna cut these down. The kids will be here in like 15. Shelves are up? Shelves are up. Oh, I haven't seen yet. I'm so excited to take a look at this. I love that it's like the perfect block. You can't see it. Oh my gosh! They're gonna freak out! <laughs> They're gonna flip. They're gonna flip out! Oh, I love this so much! Okay. Okay, I've got like 15 minutes to decorate though. Just like a little zhuzhing. Huh, okay. Not finished, but it looks so good. You killed it, babe. Thanks. Uh, stools are chopped down. Just a little bit of decor, uh, but we, I can't put too much because <laughs> they're not they're not attached yet. I think they're gonna love it. Actually, that plant needs to go somewhere else. Plant. Well, I can't have plant on plant. It's not well balanced. Plant over. Here, you take this. Okay. Okay. Mm, mm -mm. I'm not. Done yet? Shut your pie hole! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking this over here. And maybe this here-ish. Does it need to be in the corner? Mm. Or... There you go. No, no. Stop it! <laughs> You're not helpful. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. I should be here any minute. Alright. It's good enough. Good enough. I really want to do more to this. All right, it's Looks fine. Straight. Okay. They're here. Didn't get to the rest of the room like we wanted, but the reveal's happening. <laughs> Pepper cup. Good girl. Well, what have you been wanting for a long time? An art desk. A desk? <laughs> and what does the gamer want? The gaming space. The gaming space? Yeah. Um, yeah. Happy birthday! <laughs> that was awesome. You both gonna hug mom? You think mom built all that? <laughs> what do you think? I love it. Look at here, look at hunched over like a gremlin. You're like, ha. <laughs> Wait, pick up your paintbrush and paint the desk. Like a gremlin? There you go. <laughs> oh, this is gonna look so good when it's all the way done. I know. Uh, Livy? All I'm imagining is so many, like, garlands all over. You can't wait to take. Mm -hmm. Will you go sit in the other stool, please? Ease. Ease. Livy, how about you throw that arm up? Like a ta da. You gotta look at me and smile. Okay, Hi. not like a creepy smile, Isabella. <laughs> Perfect.